Now I got my mic on. Hello, everybody. My name is Zach, aka the Weather Gamer, bringing you kind of a uh, oddball video here. Um, I don't know if I talk about this in videos that are released later about wanting to do this video, and then this video has already been done. But I was going to cover my Pokemon card collection with you guys. It's something that I really wanted to show off. I'm sorry for the really like jerky camera and all that. I do not have a very good. Uh, way to record this I'm actually holding my mic boom in my right hand so I can go over the cards and my camera is attached to my mic boom because I don't have an overhead camera or a way to attach my camera to be overhead so I am holding this hopefully it's not too shaky as I move my hand back and forth but anyways so I have been collecting Pokemon cards since I was Oh, probably six or seven. Uh, my grandma bought me my very first pack um, when I was that age. Um, whenever I was a good kid, um, we would get treats and all that. Again, sorry if it's focusing funky and wow, I cannot hold this thing. Yikes! Oh my god, I'm sorry guys. Um, I will probably do this again when I get a... Uh, better camera mount, mount. I'm trying to just like hold it against my body right now so it's not moving too much. Anyways, my music's peaking too. Wow. Turn the music down. There we go. Um, so yeah, this video may not be great. But anyways, um, I just wanted to show off my collection. I've been collecting Pokemon cards for a long time there. I've got this locked around my hand now. Let's see how long that lasts. Um, so I'm just going to show off my collection. I currently have one of every card from basically Bulbasaur to Zeraora, except I don't have Zeraora or Naganadel. So just as highlights here, I'm going to raise this up a little bit, try and get all of them in. That's my foot. Okay. So there you go. Um, they are in dex order. Um, just a couple of highlights here. Um, I have a lot of hollow cards. The Big highlight is I do have Venusaur, if the camera will focus, Venusaur, there's Charizard, and Blastoise, all hollow, all from the original series, they've got the red HP number to show that, um, as well as all the way down in the bottom, it's not focusing well, but there are those, come on camera focus, there are those, so yeah, just highlights on this page first three um including the original Bulbasaur or original Venusaur Charizard and Blastoise I'm gonna slide this over stay um again original original Butterfree um these aren't original these aren't original they're from the X and Y set that re-released um the old artwork old cards but in hollow foil or reverse foil because I wanted them in reversed um, reversed foil. We do have the special hollow conditioning on this old school Pidgey. I do have behind Pidgeotto here if I can get it popped out. I do have behind that. I do have the original Pidgeotto. I just have the hollow one out in front, plus I like the artwork of this card better than that one. I'm going to go ahead and pop that back in here. Um, but yeah, I've been collecting for years, guys. Like, I'm 24 now. I started collecting when I was 6 or 7, so I've been doing this for about 17 years. Um, again, the camera will focus. There we go. Straighten the camera out. Um, again, you see the X and Y re-releases in Hollow, and then new ones, old school Pikachu, Chubby Chew. I think I have a Pikachu card stash behind that one. I might not. Do I? Or is it just Chubby Chew? Nope, I have just Chubby Chew. So, I do know there's a card stash behind Raichu, though. Um, I just don't remember what. Oh, no, there is not a card stash behind Raichu. Never mind. I've gotten rid of some of my cards because I did have like other versions of them behind me or behind like 
I wanted the old school ones, but I do have other versions. Moving over here, you can see, yeah, we do. We have the original Needle Queen, the original Needle King. We have an original Clefable from the old sets. We have Vulpex with its special few, uh, color pattern. I'll knock that real quick. That feels better. Uh, there we go. We have the original Nine Tails Hollow Rare. We have Wigglytuff that's hollow. Um, the old Oddish Gloom Bioplume line from, I believe it's Jungle is that one. Because I know if you look on Zubat, the claw foot there is Fossil. I'm pretty sure this is Jungle, but I'm not 100% certain. On my old, uh, my old packs and all that. Scroll over here, we got Paris, Parasect, Venomoth, Hollow Venomoth, Old School Venomoth, Old School Meowth, Old School Psyduck. Don't have an Old School Gold Duck, I prefer this art style anyways, the Old School Primeape and all that. Some more of the uh, re-released X and Ys. Do have a Hollow Old School Polyrath as well as the Special Foil, um, Old Special Foil Abra. We have ourselves Kadabra, Hollow Alakazam, re-release of Machop and Machoke. Here is one of my very, very rare cards, though, if it'll focus here on Machamp, maybe. So, come on, focus. I have a first edition Hollow Machamp from its set. Um, last time I looked, that card was worth about $60, $70. Um, this was one of those prized possessions that I... I picked it up at a garage sale, um, so I actually, even though I was collecting for so long, I did not finish getting all of Kanto complete until I was in 8th grade. When I was in 8th grade, I finished off getting the original 151 when I went to a garage sale and had some guy con me out of $19 for like 15, 20 cards. Granted, it turned out I have gotten the better end of that deal. Um, but yeah, we have this amazing Machamp. It's one of my prized cards. We have the rest of that line. Then moving over onto the next page, there again, the Geodude. This is another one of the prized cards in my collection. Um, this is signed by the voice actor for Brock in the anime, um, Eric Stewart. He also voices Kaiba, by the way. Um, if you're a Yu-Gi-Oh fan, um, sometime I'll have to go through my Yu-Gi-Oh cards with you guys if you're interested. But this um, this was given to me by a friend. The card is mine, but the signature on the card my friend got for me. Um, she was going to an anime convention in the state that I live, and uh, she told me that he was going to be there. She knew I was a Pokemon fan. I'm adjusting my music, so I just switch hands real quick. There we go. Um, she knew I was a Pokemon fan. She's like, he's gonna be there. Do you have anything you want me to get signed for him? I'm gonna, I have passes to meet him. I was like, would you take a Geodude, please? Just take, I wish I had a Brock's Geodude at the time, but I didn't. I was like, take Geodude, because I didn't think, oh, send Onyx, um, or anything else, but. So I have Geodude signed by the voice actor of Brock. I will never part with that card. I love it to death. We got Golem, Ponyta, Rapidash, Old School Slowbro, Slowpoke, Slowbro, Magnemite is uh, X and Y reprint. We do have the Old School Hollow Magneton, and it is also first edition. Another one of my really, really rare cards. Um, how did I get some of the the Machamp I got from a garage sale? But sorry, I'm adjusting here again. Some of these older, um, other older first edition magnet, like Magneton and that, um, my local hobby store had clearance, um, had a bin full of clearance Pokemon card packs that were like 50 cents to a dollar a piece, and they were all old, like Jungle and Fossil. That store has been out of business for almost, uh, that store has been out of business for probably 13 years now, but, uh. When they were going out of business, everything must go. My parents bought all the packs that they had remaining, and of those packs, there were several first edition packs 
and that magneton was one of those pulls that I got out of that pack. Got Farfetch, Doduo, we have the Dodrio with that special um, hollow pattern, re-releases of Seal and Dugon. We do have Grimer, this muck um, is hollow, it's um, from the structure deck I believe, the old, old structure deck that muck was a part of. Um, this card has a lot of sentimental value to me as well, just because, um, whoops, I just broke my camera, or my mount here, um, see if I can find the parts while I'm zoomed in on muck down, no, muck, yeah, there it is, muck, um, has a lot of sentimental value to me, um, my brother used to be really big, I am moving this thing around because I'm trying to repair my mount i'm just gonna flip this see if i can find you guys maybe hey guys whoa okay maybe not uh i'm fixing my camera mount i don't have editing software you guys know this this is just my normal shenanigans that happened during the video let's tighten that back down okay we're tightened down so anyways um the muck has a lot of sentimental value to me um uh, my brother and i used to be big in pokemon um play the games together, all that good stuff, and so he and I got the structure decks that opposed, I think Muck was in the structure deck, I don't remember, but he and I got those, and I've kept this card ever since, um, it's just got a lot of fond memories, we do have the Cloister, the Ghastly, we do have a Holographic Haunter from the old sets, we do have Gengar, this is a new Gengar, um, I don't remember, do I have the old Gengar behind it? No. Okay. So I was not... I My collection consists of, yes, rare cards, but also, like, the artwork is the artwork of the cards that I like the best, which is why you see some newer cards, like the Golduck mixed in, um, and this Gengar. I just didn't care for the artwork on old Gengar. I like this artwork the best out of all the Gengar cards released, so that's the one in my collection. There's Onyx, there's Drowsy... Hollow Hypner, Old School Crabby, and Kingler from the really old sets. Got Voltor, we got Hollow Electrode, Old Schools there. We do have Hollow Hitmonchan. We got Koga's Coughing, um, the only, I think it's the only Gym Leaders card in my entire collection. Weezing, Rhydon, and Rhyhorn. Hollow Chansey, Reverse Hollow Tangela. Holographic Kangaskhan, Horsey, Seedra, Goldeen, Sea King, New Staryu, Starmie, Mr. Mime, Scyther, which I believe there's a first edition non hollow behind it, if I remember correctly. I'm trying to look here. No, nope, I don't have that. I thought that was my cousin's. Uh, Jinx, Electabuzz, Magmar, Hollow Pinsir, Tauros. Magic card. We have this Gyarados, and I know there's a card behind this Gyarados. I believe it's. Yeah, it's Shiny Gyarados, the red Gyarados released from the Johto packs. So we have old school Gyarados, and we have. Um, Shiny Gyarados. I like Shiny Gyarados better, but Shiny Gyarados. Um, was not released as an old school card, so I kept both. We do have the first edition Hollow Lapras. Ditto. You got your Eevee, your Vaporeon. I have Hollow Jolteon, and then behind Hollow Jolteon is, I believe, first edition Jolteon. Non Hollow. Come on, cards. There we go. Yes, there's first edition Jolteon. Um, so same card, just one's Hollow, one's first edition. I really wish I had Hollow first edition because Hollow first edition Jolteon would be great. But you know, I've got it in two cards instead. Scrolling over, we have the old school Flareon um, to match the remaining old school trios. Re-release Porygon, old school Ammonite. Amistar, Kabuto, Kabutops. We have a newer Aerodactyl. I do have the old original Aerodactyl behind. I'm not going to try and pull that out. We have Holographic Snorlax. We have the Special Pattern Hollow, Articuno, 
We have Zapdos Hollow, Moltres Hollow, new Dratini, new um, Dragonair. We do have Hollow Dragonite from the Fossil Set. We do have the original Hollow Mewtwo. Don't have the special Mew card. Have the one that came out, and I believe it was 2007 on its box. Old school Chikorita, first edition old school Bayleaf. I love this artwork for Bayleaf. We do have. Sorry about the camera, guys. We do have old Hollow Rare Meganium, old Cyndaquil, Quilava, Hollow Rare to uh, Typhlosion, old school Totodile, old school Croconol, old school Hollow for Alligator, as well as old school Centrits and all that. Your old school, like, crayon colored, um, Hoot Hoot, Knocked Owl, New Lady Buh, Old Lady Inn, Spinarak, Eridos, Crobat, Old Chin Chow, Old Lantern. I have a lot of mix of old and new cards. I tried to stay with the older cards on my older gens, like Gen 1 and 2. Um, that Hollow Pichu, New Clefairy, or Clefa, New Igglybuff, New That. Old school, first edition, Hollow Togetic, another one of my prized cards. Natu, X2, um, Marie, Flaffy, another one of my key cards, the old Johto set, first edition, Amphrost, Blossom, Meryl, Azumarill, Sudowoodo, Politoed, you guys can see them all. Do have the Hollow Rare Jump Pluff there. Continue on, old Quagsire, um, Espeon, Umbreon and Espeon are from the new sets, I just love these artworks, I believe there's a card behind Umbreon if I can see that correctly, so I will try to take a look what's behind Umbreon here, oh yeah, old, old Umbreon, I forgot I had a old Umbreon behind Shiny um, or uh, GX Umbreon from the first Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon set. Um, I really like the artwork of GX cards. And, like, the artwork for GX um, Umbreon and Espeon here is just so beautiful that I decided to run those in my collection instead. We do have those over there. Old Girafferig. Old Fortress. Old Gligar. We have the old Hollow Rare Steelix, another one of those rare cards that I came across. Old Scissor, old Shuckle, some newer stuff, old Teddy Ursa. Uh, here is my Ursaring card. This was from the, was this the EX days? No, this was, this is new, a newer card. Like I think this came out 2010 with the Heart Gold Soul Silver. Might be, yeah, that line. More old stuff mixed in with new. More old stuff. We do have the old Houndoom, the old Kingdra. Um, the Kingdra is shine or hollow. Old Fanfi, old Dawn Fan. And over here, old Mill Tank, old Hollow Rare First Edition Raikou. Another one of my prized cards. We have the Hollow Rare Entei. We do have the Suicune with the Pokemon Forever um, uh, tag or uh, thing in the picture, right in the art, right there. If it would focus, maybe not gonna focus. So that card I got. Whoops, sorry about that, guys. That card I got with. Um, the VHS, so yes, that dates it. The VHS release of um, Pokemon Forever, the movie. My grandma bought it for my cousin and I. My cousin and I um, rock, paper, scissored it, and I won the Suicune from the movie release, similar to that Mew card that came out with uh, Pokemon, the first movie. So I won the Suicune. It's another one of my prize cards that I cherish dearly, not only for the memories, just because it's an old card as well. Got that. Moving into some of my favorites here, the old, original, like, 
first run of um, Gen 7 or Gen 3's Mons, a lot of hollows. Um, I love hollow cards. Like my preference for holographics is reverse hollow. So like the Mighty Ana here, how that's hollow, the Zigzaga and all that, versus say like the uh, Dust Talks and the Low Tad there. Um, I like reverse hollows over standard hollows because standard hollow for me makes it hard to um, see the Mon completely well in the background is holographic whereas the card being shiny is not that big of a deal to me. I also don't play competitive Pokemon so I don't care about reading the cards. I just want to see the pictures. Um, so yeah, we do have the EX Deoxys um, stamped low tad, the one that came in the pack, the rare card. Similarly, our Lombre and Ludicolo are also hollow rares from that same set. Scroll on down, same with the Nuzleaf. Routes, Curlia, Gardevoir, Surskit, Masquerain, all of them, Breloom. Slacking, Sheninja, another EX Deoxys. More, just continuing through Gen 3. Um, what is that on that one? Power something here. Power Keepers, EX Power Keepers on the Sableye. Um, just more. Hollow foils, reverse hollows, the Plusle and Minum from the Plusle Minum starter uh, trainer kit. Those two, my brother had the Minum deck, I had the Plusle deck. A lot of my collection comes from my brother as well. Like he got out of Pokemon, and so um, before he sold off his collection, I offered him a trade. I had a bunch of um, action figures that my brother could sell. Um, and I'd take over his Pokemon cards, and so that's the trade we made. I think it was Ben 10 action figures. Um, I traded my brother a whole bunch of Ben 10 action figures. He traded me his entire Pokemon card collection, and I pulled out what I wanted from it, and then sold off the rest. We got EX Deoxys, Grumpig, and Spoink. We have Flygon X there from when they were doing the Xs before EX and GX. Um, Cacturn with the Power Keepers, I believe Swablu is the Power Keepers as well. And our Altaria. Another EX Deoxys and our Claydol. I think I'm finally getting it. There's our mascot right there, Cast Form. Um, only made sense because he's the Weathermon. I do know his um, other forms are behind this card, so I'll try and pull him out here. I really need, like, a mounted camera. Sorry, you guys were staring at my knee there, so... Um, there are our cast forms. Two hollow rares, two nons. Um, the water, rain form, snow form, sun form. Uh, Gen 8... Um, they really need to give cast form its last form. Uh, where is our sand form of cast form? And there goes the case. There you go. Can't get away that easily. Um, let's see if I can balance this here real quick. I'll put the cards back away. Kind of. I can feel it slipping. I'm holding this with my neck right now while I try to get all four cards into one sleeve because that is very difficult. There we go. All right, come, camera, come here. Sorry again, guys, for the uh, rapid movements. I know that's probably not good. Gives might give some emotion sickness, but there's that. Some more cards. We do have um, Power Keepers, Hollow, uh, Shuppet, and Bayonet. We have Power Keepers. Duskull, the Dusclops is hollow. There's our Absol. Uh, this Absol card was really, really sketchy, um, how I got it. So I used to look on, like, Craigslist, and which, for those of you non, 
um, state sides or don't know about it worldwide. Well, it's like a swap meet type of um, buy sell website, like the original buy sell website. And I found a guy who had this and a whole bunch of other cards I was looking for. So I sent him cash in the mail. I think I sent like 25 bucks to get 12 or 13 cards that I needed. And like three weeks later, the cards showed up. I was super, super nervous that entire three weeks because I thought I'd gotten scammed out of 25 bucks. But it helped me finish... Those cards helped me finish Gen 2 and Gen 3. Because um, I hadn't finished those at the time. Um, Snowrun, Glalie, Sfeel, all from the Power Keeper set. Hollows across the board. For the most part, I think Gorbis is the only non-hollow on this page, besides Walrein. Uh, Love this. I got new Bagon, new Shelgon, new Salamance. Um... Some of the newers, um, just because of the artwork. Um, old school Latios, Kyogre EX, Groudon, Rayquaza. There's old Jirachi, old Deoxys, Turtwig. Um, so growing up until until Gen 5, I did not have a regular steady flow of where I got my cards from. Um, just because I wasn't driving, I didn't have capacity to drive myself. My parents were, so I didn't have a job, so I didn't have money, and my parents would take me to like card shops and all that. Once I got my license and got a job and started making money and all that, um, I started really getting my collection caught back up. So up until Gen 4, I was buying cards as I could find them anywhere, eBay, um, Structure decks, packs and stores, um, off of friends that were getting out of Pokemon and selling off their collections, um, off my brother, all that. I really love the artwork on this Luxury card. Um, and then once I got, um, once I got myself a uh, my license so I could drive and a job and money. I would go to the local comic book store in my town. They were more, like they were a gaming shop and a uh, comic book store. And I would go. They'd have like 25 cent commons, 50 cent reverse hollow rares and rares, and then they'd have like three for a dollar in the book of semi uh, rare cards and then all these super rare cards. And so I would go on set release days, like a week after the sets were released and all that, and I would buy up all the cards in that set that I needed to get my um, collection going. And that's how I was able to get my collection caught up to where I'm at now, where I'm basically waiting for releases, or um, the other issue is I'm out of money right now um, as a college student who's about ready to move out. Uh, my last day at college was Tuesday of the week this video goes up, because this should be going up on Friday, I think. Might be Saturday. I think this might be going up Saturday. Um, anyways, um, Tuesday was my last day of college, so I got all those changes. Go check out my update video that I posted. It'll tell you what I got going on. So I haven't been able to get some of these super expensive cards right away, like the Zero Aura GX and... A Ganadel, and you'll see when we get to that section. It's Gen 7 Mons that I'm missing. Everything up to those is basically complete. Um, the phase when Nintendo, or uh, when uh, Pokemon Trading Card Company was making Mons out of like Play Doh and Clay, that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, I and then I discovered. Um, trollandtoad.com um, and since then I have stopped going to my local game shop because I was paying way too much at my local game shop and I started buying on Troll and Toad. Um, I do have all the Rotom forms. Rotom Wash is just my per uh, favorite Rotom. Get those popped out here. Sorry again, I'm going to try and hold the camera with my neck again while I do this. I'll keep focused on Palkia there if we can. 
Come on, cards out of the sleeve. I know you got a lot of you in there. Because I gotta do this with Arceus too. Okay, here we go. Two, three, four, five, six. So there we go. Uh, there's all six. I have uh, Wash, Fan, Frost, Heat, and Mo, and Standard Rotom. I just prefer Rotom Wash. Again, I'm gonna hold this with my neck while I pick up my cards and put them back in their case. Um, Rotom Wash is just. You guys are basically staring at my floor at this point. My very dirty floor. I need to vacuum. Um, in you go, Roto Wash. There we go. So, yeah, I have those. I do have, um, with Giratina here, I do have Origin um, behind it. If I can get it out. Yep, so there you go. There's Origin behind it. So, yeah. Uh, Darkrai. I do have Shaman Sky behind the Shaman. I am not going to try and pull it out. Um, just because it will be a pain in the butt to get them all back into one case. But. Just for perspective, that's how thick that is. And all those are Arceus forms. I have all the different Arceus forms. Um, Victini, Snivy. So basically, if it has another form, it's behind the original, my favorite form. Just hit myself in the head there twice with the camera. My favorite form is the top form. The rest of the forms are behind it. So again, continuing Gen 5, a lot of shinies. Uh, or not Chinese, but hollow, reverse hollow cards. Just because that's the style of card I like. It's my own personal collection. I'm not collecting to sell off someday. I will talk about what um, the last time I had my collection valued for, what it was valued at. But yeah, I just, and a lot of these I remember like going into my local card shop, opening the book, I'm like, oh, I need that, I need that, I need that, I need that. Just like kid in a candy store who was trying to complete his collection this is the one thing that i have as like complete as possible of a collection i wish they would release some cards um that are missing some forms like gender forms and all that just so i can complete it um the, the vivians um with all their patterns i wish they would release like those as well so i could complete there i do have zenmo dark manitan behind that um Again, just continuing through the Pokédex. Um, at one point, I had an extensive collection, and I'm going to pop it up here real quick. Not my Pokémon. There There's what's currently of my collection of Pokémon figures with the biggest, like, three that I've got on my desk so far right there. Eventually, they're going to all be out of the container and spread out onto their desk. But, um... I was going to have like huge shadow box displays with the card and then on top of the card each mon, but it's just so expensive for Pokemon figures nowadays that I have no chance at ever completing that right now. Maybe someday if I hit it rich, I'll be able to do that. Um, all the Deerling forms are behind, same with the Saw's book. Uh, but yeah, that was that was the original plan was to have them all on display like behind plastic or glass or something. Just have the card propped up in the background and the mon sitting in front of it. I thought it'd be really cool because then I'd have every card. I'd have a physical copy of every um, mon, and then I also have. Um, I'm gonna swing by here real quick. So there are all of my Pokemon games um, that I own. Um, I do have living dexes on every single game. I will be resetting some of those, though, because I'm going to play through, like, X and Sapphire, Ultra Moon, Ultra Sun for YouTube. So I will be resetting some of those. I'll obviously save the super rares that I've cherished for years. Um, come on, camera. Refocus. Thank you. Save those super rares. Um, event only mons into the pokey bank and then I'll reset them. Then I can do my playthroughs. 
but I was going to have a physical, a digital, and a card copy of every Pokemon. I still would love to someday. I just don't know how I'm going to go about doing it. For now, let's get the card collection complete because that one's relatively cheap and easy to do, whereas the figures I have to go and like track them down type of thing. The cards, I just go to trollandtoad.com and buy whatever I need when I need it. Um, we do have the Team Plasma uh, Therian versions of them. The backups are behind. Kyurem Black is the main Kyurem, but I do have the other two. Same with Kelio. I do have the other one. I do have the other Meloetta. Um, behind Genesect, I believe, is the shiny Genesect card that came with the 16th Pokemon Genesect in the Mystery of Mewtwo or something like that. I'm trying to look over and see what it is. Genesect in the... Genesect in something. I can al almost read it from here. Genesect in the Legend Awaken. That was it. So again, um, collecting Pokemon cards out of movies um, from release. I got that movie for Christmas from my... It was the first time I'd gone to Arizona that I could remember being... Down, there it is being down in Arizona with my family for Christmas. We used to go when I was younger, but I don't have memories of it. Um, that first year, I bought the movie with money from my uncle for a Christmas gift and got the shiny. I was like, holy cow, and then I realized not that special. But it has sentimental value to me, so it makes it special to me. There's the Vivivion, Pyroar, and all that. They need to release the rest of the colors of these because um, pink's the only one you can get right now. I did, I do try, like, here with um, Meowstic, since you can get both of them in one card, I do try to do that, just so I save space in my notebook. Notebook type of thing. Um, I did used to buy cards off Amazon until I discovered Troll and Toad through Amazon and eBay. Coming through Gen 6 here. And I know this is going to be a really long video. If you guys are still hanging out here, thanks for uh, watching. You must really enjoy Pokemon cards as much as I do. Uh, the different forms of Zygarde are behind there. Different form of Hoopa is behind that one. Now this part of my book gets a little sketchy. Um, I do have Mega Forms. Um, in here this is a super expensive card um it was really hard for me to come by and get that one mega beedrill alakazam all that and i'm sure you guys can spot some issues now mega pincer there's a mega pincer card no there is not a mega pincer card so i found some uh i found a card manufacturer um, through eBay on, over in the UK that makes artificial cards, they make fake cards, and so I was looking through the catalog and they do have a request a fake card um, option, so I did, and so like Pinsir here is a fake, um, fake card, um, I know I got another one over here somewhere. Except how boys can. Mega Sableye here is a fake card, and you can tell right there just looking at it. There's uh, definitely some something off with it, um, besides just being divided in half on its typing. So I ordered, I ordered fake cards as far as the Megas that weren't released because I wanted to have all the Mega cards. So I did get those. That is the only part of this collection that is non. Um, so there's Metacham right there, that's a fake. Um, Bayonet, there's a fake. Um, it's either Latios or Latios, one of these two is a fake. Uh, this one, Latios, because it's two-toned. Primals. Um. 
but I they hadn't released them. I wanted them, so I ordered the fakes. They're Obama Snow is fake. The rest of them complete, 100% legit cards. I've had my um, card collection evaluated, and as we draw to the end here, I'll talk about that. But that those are literally the only fake cards in my collection. Everything else is brand spanking new, either out of packs or from um, resellers, that sort of thing. There's my Lycan Rock. Um, again, the forms are behind it. Wishy-washy, I do have a non-schooled form of wishy-washy behind that. GX. All that. Now, you're probably wondering, okay, so how did he come across all these GX cards when they're super, super expensive type of thing? And he just admitted to having fake cards in his collection. So, the first box, first wave, the original Sun and Moon cards. The one that the Espeon, the Umbreon came from. Some of that. Um, Duncan Knee Deep did a video on them about being able to search the box. And that is exactly what I used to do. When Duncan revealed that pattern for searching the boxes, I bought like five or six boxes. I dumped like four or five hundred dollars into boxes of Pokemon cards. And I searched until I got the pattern. I'd keep the copies of the GXs that I wanted for my personal collection. And then I would... Um, sell off any duplicates as well as sell off the commons in lots like i take one common out of the entire set that i had and sell that set and then progressively work my way down until i could no longer make a set of commons and then i just sold the rest as bulk and then i sold the unopened packs as well um, at a discounted rate but between all of that, and there you can see we're coming to the end there, Nihilego, so anything after Nihilego, Stack Attack, uh, um, Blacephalon, um, I don't have, I do have Necrozma's Dawn and Duskwings, but I don't have Ultra Necrozma, um, Melmetal and Meltan aren't released yet, and Zeraora, so Zeraora, Stack Attack, uh, the Crosmodon Wings and Blacephalon are the four cards that are currently available that I do not have in this collection. Otherwise, everyone from Bulbasaur to Zeraora is complete. Um, but anyways, I would buy and resell those packs, and I'd make enough money to cover my expenses, as well as a little more on top of it. So that's how I was able to put a lot of this collection together there at the end. So yeah, there's the blank spaces for... Um, so the first one was for, I believe, Stack Attack, and there's Blacephalon, and then Zero Aura, and I need to update the back part of this book, because now that Melmetal and Meltan are here, I need to shift Ratatata and Raticate um, over. And then the last prized card of my collection, so I used to watch Duncan Knee Deep a lot. I watched his live streams, I watched his card openings, um... A lot of that, and then I kind of just drifted away to, like, A-Drive and others. Um, I still watch Duncan um, on a daily basis, so if somehow this video drifts to Duncan, no, Duncan, I have not given up on you. I just have... I'm, I'm not currently Twitch sub to anybody, actually, because um, I haven't made up my mind on who I'm doing that to, because I only have my free Prime sub, and that's it. But uh, I do still watch all the roulettes and all that that he does. Um, when he was doing his pack openings, um, he said he would throw the um, like ultra rares and this sort of thing up on eBay for sale, and that if you bought it, he would sign it. And so when I went to check the listings, the only card he had up there that I... Um, he had like the gold hollow energy and something else the only um and then this the alolan nine tails so i bought the alolan nine tails he asked do you want the case signed or do you want the card signed i had him sign the card um i can go pull up the ebay order sometime if anyone needs to see the verification of this but this is by far one of my prized possessions it's another reason i love alolan nine tails as a draft league mon as well and just as a mon in general um, just because I have this very special card. 
And then the rest of the Alolan forms. Muck. Alolan Eggy. Alolan Marowak. And then because I didn't want to try and shove 28 cards in one pocket, we do have a complete set of unknown letters. And there's that. So, yeah, that's my Pokemon card collection. I thought I'd share it with you guys. I'm a really big Pokemon fan. Uh, if you guys couldn't tell, based on all the draft league that's going up, and there will be Pokemon playthroughs coming up, and the fact that my mascot's a cast form, and whoops, jumped the book there, um, all that. I just thought I'd share my collection with you guys. It's always fun to show this off to people, and like, hey, I, I love this stuff. This is difficult one-handed. Come on. Slip in there. There we go. I think I missed a page in there. Yeah, I did. Um, this binder is really, really old as well. I've had this binder forever. Um, here we go. Um, I'm going to have to get another binder with Gen 8 coming, I think. I don't think... Close that down, close that down, but, like, my clasp is breaking, allowing pages to slip out. Um, with Gen 8 coming, I don't think this binder can handle Gen 8, um, so I'm going to have to get a second binder, and then I might just, yeah, start Gen 8 there. Phone, shut up, I don't care. Um, but yeah, there's the Earl Barack Stewart, so, yeah, that's my collection. Um, now, I told you guys I'd tell you what my collection was valued at. So I've taken my card collection to four experts. I've also sent my collection. That was scary, by the way, sending my collection off to a grading agency. They, um, I wasn't sure I was going to get my cards back and I was going to lose a whole bunch of money and all that. But I've had this professionally graded. Um, I can go get the certificate sometime. I have it's locked away in my safety, my parents' safety deposit box right now, so I can't um, just whip it out today. But I can go get it if anyone wants to see it. But this was evaluated in 2017, summer of 2017. So before some of the X and Y were, or not X and Y, Sun and Moon cards were completely released and all that. And at the time, my collection was valued from anywhere between $2,000 and $3,000. So this is, this is a significant chunk of change here. If I ever needed it, I will not sell this unless I am going to be homeless. But yeah, I just it's a passion of mine. I love it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this kind of like bonus video to take a look at my card collection. And yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching.